We'll wait, we'll wait like three more minutes. Um, type one if you miss me. <laughs> Sorry, imagine, imagine nobody typed. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like... I'll talk about it in a second. Yo, I'm alive. That looks fucking weird, just chat floating here. I don't like that, but I don't want goals on screen for now. Um, good morning, good afternoon. It's 11.15. I wasn't gonna go live today, but I'm here. Um, if you're coming in, peep the pin chat message. Um, I said, like, on Twitter and then last week. Oh my god, new chatter, first time chatter. Hello? Can we get some peace I to yo's first time chatter? If we get to, if you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. But welcome in. Um so I have good and bad news. As most of y'all know, um I've been experiencing like numbness and fatigue for like a little over a year now, and we're finally on track to getting answers but it's like baby steps still um I, I posted on twitter but i was scheduled for an mri last monday so it's been a week but because i had to get one for my brain and then my spine but my spine one got denied because my insurance was like well fuck you we don't think you're actually like fucked up so you'll have to like pay for that one so screw me but so i went and got the brain scan done i have so many jokes i okay okay i was gonna go live on tuesday and do story times but it didn't happen <laughs> which i'll go into in a minute um so i got it done it was pretty chill it was not fun but not as scary as i thought it'd be we'll go into the story time later um because i feel good today i feel fine so we can do a little bit of games we can do games today um so I got that done Monday, but I couldn't get my results till Friday. And if anybody has like gone to the gone to the doctor or like gone to like any checkup and you get like a test and then like the anxiety between like getting the procedure done and then getting the results is like excruciating, right? I'm sure most of y'all can relate to some capacity. He him? Okay, got it, boss. Well welcome in. Um so that was like a four day window in which I had to wait. And if you live in Washington, I don't know if other states use it, but you, you have like a my chart and then it sends you your results and your information. Um, so I got like the results to my my chart on Tuesday. And then usually when you get like blood work done, for example, it'll like have all the results listed out and they don't make any fucking sense, but they'll have like highlighted where discrepancies are. And there was like two discrepancies highlighted on my MRI results. And I was like, uh oh, oh no, because I, I feel better now. I'm not going to cry. I want it. I wanted to do a gag. I wanted to do a gag. Hi, hacker. 
I wanted to do a gag where I was like, should I just put on face cam and be crying? That'd be a really good bit. That'd be a good bit. Oh my god, hi, Mac. I'm- okay, I was scared to go live today because I thought I wouldn't see chatters. So thank you, everybody who's here for chatting lurking. Thank you, everybody. Um, <clears throat> no, that's evil, but that would have been such a good bit. It would have been so good. Type 1 if you would have laughed at the bit. <laughs> okay, okay, so I got the results Tuesday, right? And there was like two discrepancies highlighted, so I'm like, fuck. And then I got an email from my doctor on Thursday and they were like, well, I looked at your results and then I had another doctor look at it and you don't need surgery. So I'm like, what the fuck? So then I, I look up what the um, discrepancies were and apparently, everybody, let's get your notepads out. We're doing some drawing. If you post, if you, if you follow me on Twitter, you know, you know what's going on. But for all the non-Twitter heads... Uh, where is it? Yo, USB cam. Oh my god, what is this? Ain't no way. We're not doing sketch cards today because I only got one fucking reference picture. Screw the Oilers. Okay. So. <laughs> sorry. 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 So, basically, a normal brain, right? You have your skull and your brain fits perfectly inside your skull, okay? Okay? But for some people, this is like, it's not necessarily rare, it's fairly common. It's like one in every thousand people, which is 0.1%. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it's still apparently common. So for some people, their skull is like too small because it either happens when you experience some type of head trauma, like if you're playing football and you crack your head open, or if like, it's also like a symptom you can experience at birth to where your skull doesn't get big enough so when you're older your brain is too big for your skull so part of my brain like seeps down here past my skull um and so like i was looking it up online because that was one of the discrepancies because it was like oh this patient da -da -da, goes this much further past their skull and I'm like, oh? <laughs> um, I'm laughing now, because like literally, literally, when I saw the results and I was researching, I could not stop laughing. I, I literally couldn't stop laughing, because all I could think about was like the big brain beams. Hi, Kim, welcome in. Um, and I was texting my six, I was texting my sister, and I was like, I got my results back, and apparently I, my brain is too big. <laughs> so, um, I was gonna work on it yesterday, but I want to make a new emote, and you know the Megamind memes? I want to make, um, uh, me, but, like, edit it so the head is really big, and then Chroma Kia blue. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be funny? Um, yeah, so that was Thursday, and then I went in on Friday. Yeah, Megamind. <laughs> Um, I went in on Friday and then she told me everything and the good news is we're not farming we're not clickbaiting anymore the good news is it's not life-threatening so I'm not gonna die I'm not dying let's fucking go but since it can cut <laughs> sorry, sorry I can't I can't oh can we get some drakes in chat I'm not gonna fucking die anymore oh my god that was like I told you guys how, like, a few months ago, some I posted I had a headache, and then some motherfucker in the reply said, Oh, it could be a tumor. <laughs> Holy. Um. So. Yeah. TLDR, my brain is too big for my skull. I am just too smart. Okay, I'm laughing now, but I've been, like, crying all week. I've been... <laughs> I've been- this is coconut water, it's not salt water. Um, from what I read, and what my doctor said, um, she was saying, it's not necessarily life-threatening, the only time it would become- <laughs> Sorry, I- I love my chat. I'm not gonna say I love you guys, cause that's cringe, but I love my chat. Um, it's not life-threatening, the only time where it becomes a concern is if you experience, like, really severe symptoms. So basically what- Because, like, the majority of people who have this- Oh, we love you too, thank you. Peace I too heart. Or peace I too love, isn't that the emote? 
um, I'm not gonna say what the, 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 fuck, <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> shit, oh my god, sorry, sorry, I'm thinking, cause, like, I posted a clip on my YouTube, and, did I post it on TikTok, -y? anyway, it was about stuttering, and then, <laughs> I was talking about how people shouldn't make fun of Joe Biden, cause it's ableist, partially joking, but then partially not joking, and then somebody put in the comments, but it's funny, though, <laughs> <laughs> Flirt. Oh my god, stop. Boot. Anyway, anyway, okay. No, no stalling. We need to get serious. It's not life-threatening. I'm not gonna die. But there's like a rate, a wide range of symptoms anybody can experience. Some people like are lucky and don't feel any pain. Some people have migraines. Some people experience numbness and fatigue. Some people can't walk. Uh-oh. And it's one of those things to where <clears throat> there's no solution besides surgery. Um, but obviously you can't get approved for surgery unless it's really bad. And it's not really bad yet. But it's... Because like, since it's your skull, it's terminal. It's... I, I got it forever, baby! So I'm smiling now. But thank you, Kim. I appreciate that. We don't see you often, but thank you. Very kind. Um, yeah, I definitely feel better now. But, like, just the anxiety of waiting for the results. And then also, like, I, I've told you guys before. It's one of those things where I knew something was wrong. But part of me wanted me to be fine. But then another part of me wanted for there to be something actually wrong. But there is something wrong. Sorry, I, I would not have been able to say this, like, on Tuesday or Friday. Like, I've had a few days to, like, process everything, and I feel fine. Like, I... Seriously, seriously. If I was a small streamer and I didn't have a chat room, I would be very sad. Because, okay, okay, imagine, imagine. Uh, a 10 viewer Andy, and they have no chatters. I would Minecraft myself. Like, just knowing that most people watching are chatting right now, I appreciate that a lot. <clears throat> um, and if you're not chatting, that's A-okay, baby. We love the lurkers. We hate the chatters. Um, and then also, on top of all that shit, um, like, one of my best friends, they're going through some shit, so, like, I was trying to, like check in on them support them all last week and i just couldn't muster up the i was gonna say courage but i don't know if that's the right word but muster up the because like I, I told you guys before i'm not gonna stream if i'm not happy or in a good mood because i don't think fading positivity is good uh, i'm not looking at the camera but because i'm nervous energy yeah i was also just really fucking tired because <laughs> like I've noticed that my symptoms will increase whenever I'm anxious. So, just all all last week, I was basically in bed all day. And then, yeah, I made food the other day, though. This is the wine chicken. Oh, my God. I had a banger tweet that I thought was really fucking funny, but I didn't tweet it. Because I, I felt weird tweeting if I'm not going to go live. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> anything else? Yeah, so I, I feel fine now. There might be some days where I'm not feeling it, so I'm not gonna be... I'm still gonna go for, like, <laughs> to weed it. No, I'll tell you guys the story time later, because I had I have, like, the story time written out. Um, my goal is still to do three to four days a week for streaming. And honestly, I need to make up for the hours lost for the first five days of this month. Dude, okay. Can I be honest? January fucking sucked. I was editing the best of compilation. It's posted on my YouTube Clips channel. And then as the new channel trailer here. And I'm going to post it on TikTok probably tomorrow and Twitter tomorrow. Oh, we need to announce the best clipper of the month. Really quick. If you don't know what this is, whoever makes the most and best clips for every month gets a gift card and VIP in chat. So. You going to focus? 
Oh, Ayo, Ayo. So these were this month's clippers. Surprising. Kobobo has gotten this every month for like three, four months in a row. But Crystal beat them this month. So when Crystal comes in the chat, they get a gift card. You watched the video this morning? Let's fucking go. Wait, are you from the YouTube channel? No way. Also, can I ask how to say your name? Is it Keelan? Kaylin? But no, we, I feel, okay. I was going to talk about this later. Oops. <laughs> Lamo. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Um, tomorrow's your birthday? No way. Should we throw a birthday party for Mac? <laughs> um, yeah, so this is my schedule. Kaylin? Okay. Got it. That's cool. So this is the... If it'll focus. This is my schedule for this week and then Valentine's. Okay, since we're not farming Sages anymore, let's put the goals back on screen. I need to farm. <laughs> I haven't gone live in a week. Uh, anyway, anyway. So, plan for this week. Mario Kart today because I'm feeling good. And then... We still have two more Wii games that we didn't finish during Wii Week. Yeah, Wii Wii. <laughs> and then after we do those Wii games, I have Valentine's Day streams. I have... I have five Valentine's Day streams, but we only have like seven days until Valentine's Day. So it's either I stream every day or I have to cut some. I got some banger ideas, though, so don't worry about it. <clears throat> um, anything else that I need to talk about? I- We talked about this before, but there's, like, a limit to how transparent I will be, right? But I still think it's important to share some things with you guys, because you guys are important. And, okay, okay, call me cringe, call me cringe, but- I feel like stream is like hanging out with a bunch of friends, you know what I mean? Because like all of last week, I wanted to stream because I wanted to like have fun and hang out with everybody. But then I didn't want to because I was sad. But I'm glad so many people are understanding and supportive. But yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, it's cringe. <laughs> um, is there anything else that I need to explain? I don't think. Oh, another reason why I'm like fucking pissed off. Okay, last rant about the medical shit and then I'm never talking about it again. Um, but you know how I was supposed to get two MRIs? Who's Drake? <laughs> Who Megalon Drake? <laughs> Uh, I was supposed to get two done. So my brain one got approved and then my spine one got denied. So my doctor was like, well, <clears throat> we can't necessarily pinpoint that your brain being too big is causing the problems. So we, st we really needed those spine scans. And I'm like, I know, I know, but my fucking state free insurance hates me. Because basically what can happen is if part of your brain isn't in your skull, like all the fluid, PC2 or by PC2 by PC2 oh by no, hi Kobobo. Mods ban Kobobo. <laughs> PC2, that sounds fucking bad. Welcome in Kobobo. Wait, you lost your badge. <clears throat> Imagine. But thank you for the resub. Can we get some wool bobos in chat? Um. Yeah, the TTS will read out the emotes. It's. <laughs> I thought I was saying pissy. I know. Why'd you say that, Meg? Okay, anyway. So my doctor was like, dude, it would have been great if we had your spine scans because. Like I was saying, if your brain doesn't, like, fully sit in your skull, it hangs out a little bit. And then <clears throat> some of, like, the fluids or the brain juices will, like, 
seep throughout your 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 head and then your body and then that can cause problems so she was like well you know the fluids could be like basically like flowing down your spine and i'm like huh because like i asked her like oh so what could like okay Obviously, anytime you go to the doctor, please ask as many questions as you can because they are obligated to answer them. Because if you don't press them or <laughs> body eating it, shut the fuck up, man. Stop. Stop. Oh my god. Sorry, that was I don't know why that's so funny. Okay. <laughs> what was I saying? Okay. Anyway, you go to the doctor, ask them any question you have because they're obligated to answer because they won't tell you shit. Unless you say anything, because they don't want to, like, pre-diagnose you. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. And then, so she was like, because I asked her, I was like, well, what could be happening because of the brain issue? And she was like, well, you know, we don't really know until we look at your spine. And if there's issues with your spine, it can be. She literally listed off, like, ten, like, severe conditions that I could have. And holy dude, that fucked me up. Um, but it's fine. Like I said, we're done talking about it. I'm not gonna die. My brain is just too big. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> Are we ready for some games now? Anybody have any questions? Any thoughts? Um... Too smart for your own good? I know, dude. I know. No? Okay. I'll end stream. <laughs> I, was <laughs> I was gonna do the stream on Saturday and then only go live for 15 minutes, but I felt like that was, like, unfair. Honestly. Um. Yeah. What, when should we do calligraphy? Because I only got one reference picture from the Oilers. Yeah, I think today we'll do Mario Kart. If we knew to stream Mario Kart, it's the same thing. I talk to chat, I do stories. I'm sorry, can you repeat all that? I wasn't paying attention. Put your listening ears on and re-watch the VOD. Yeah, I, I, Mac, I literally only got one picture. <laughs> so I, I think we'll do calligraphy maybe after Valentine's Day. That way people have time to send a picture. Hi, vengeance people. Hey, can we get some peace out to yo's? <clears throat> Welcome in. Vengeance, I saw your comment on TikTok. It, okay, okay, okay. It's so funny because I think Vengeance is one of the few TikTok frogs who actually watches the clips for the gameplay. Because <laughs> anytime I do like a trick or a fail, Vengeance will always comment on it. Like, unrelated to whatever the fuck I'm talking about. Like, they left a comment the other day like, Oh, you actually did a, you actually did a shock dodge. That's the first time I've seen you do that. <laughs> and it was funny. <clears throat> anyway. I don't think there is anything else I need. Addressing the controversy. Mods, clip it. Um. Yeah. I think that's all I want to talk about. I had to look up what a shock dodge was. A shock dodge, I think from what I've seen, is where you're able to dodge a lightning bolt through like a ghost or a star. <clears throat> I just find it interesting because I know you're trying to get better. Yeah, I'm trying. We're playing Mario Kart today actually, so we'll see. Will this all be on the test? Of course, of course. Oh! <clears throat> So, the lineup for this week of streams. I'm gonna try and stream every day. Because I gotta make up for lost hours. Um. I have two Wii games. I'm not gonna leak. And then I have two. I have five Valentine's Day streams. One in which will be a quiz type stream. So, similar to the. What you call it? Leakage? Like my fucking brain? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh no. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god, okay. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna make jokes all day, okay? This is still fresh. Oh my god. I can't. Holy okay, okay. <clears throat> so one of the streams is gonna be similar to the naughty or nice quiz we did for Christmas. It's gonna be asking like lovey dovey questions. I should be back later. Okay, Crystal, you got best clipper, so I'll whisper you later for your gift card. Wowie. If you can't hear me, then uh-oh. <laughs> Bye, Crystal. Because <clears throat> for Valentine's Day streams, I have cards, cookies, relationship- Oh, wait. Fuck. <laughs> the quiz results and analysis. A dating sim, which Slavion donated so I could buy the game. And then a POV date with chat. So that's the Valentine's Day stream lineup I have. <clears throat> oh yeah. Huh, why are you saying huh? <laughs> it's I one of you date me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't fuck your viewers, it's bad. I'm nervous I got a date to go on now. I mean, just don't watch the stream. Are you really gonna flake on our date? <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking. This is also my breakfast because I didn't eat yet today. Oh, this is, um, the recipe was called Perfect Chicken, but it's a cream wine sauce with mushrooms and onions. I must come to the date stream. Yes, new chatter. <laughs> we love that. Okay, I have a whole list of story times today. Also, I have a really good idea for a uh, um, April Fool's Day stream. It's gonna be banger. I'm not telling you all. I promise you it's gonna be a good one. You know, I'm just thinking that far ahead because my brain's so big. <laughs> I want a box of chocolates. I mean, that might happen. Okay, are we ready for some gaming? Mods change the category. <clears throat> Oh, I was gonna show my tweets on stream, but then I forgot. Right, let's not do that. I hope I get a rose. Flowers are way too expensive and performative. So no, you will not be getting roses. I'd rather- okay. I'd rather get, like, chocolates. Because then I can, like, actually eat them, right? Pokemon Violet? Yeah, I've been playing it off stream. Because my friend- Got it me got it for me for Christmas. And then I haven't played it in a week. <clears throat> um, chaz, it's gonna take me a while to get warmed up because we haven't streamed in a a hot minute. <clears throat> I promise I'm doing good. You can eat roses too. The roses at my mom's house, they would always have earwigs in them. So I would not recommend eating those. Because they would have earwigs and then ear earwig poop in it. Like, you know those little bugs? <clears throat> so if you want some texture and some flavor, then yeah. Oh, also, uh, Shatters, we're 30 minutes into stream, so it's time for me to tell you if you're new here, follow the channel. If you're watching this and you don't know who the fuck I am, why are you listening to my drama? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Mods, change the title. We're no longer farming. <clears throat> I don't know how long I'll stream for today. Maybe two hours total. Maybe an hour. We'll see how I feel. Flowers just look pretty and they die. I know, right? <clears throat> I- Okay. So I posted a clip 
What I love about reposting clips to like TikTok and YouTube and stuff is seeing what people say in response. Because a lot of my clips are like people adding their opinion to what I was saying. And I posted a clip the other day talking about how I think getting flowers as a gift as a gift is cringe. But then somebody commented, I screenshotted it because I wanted to like save it for later. Um, but they commented basically, you know, I think the whole point of giving gifts it's because you give them things that they wouldn't buy themselves. And I was like, oh my god, that's crazy. Because, like, I would never get myself flowers or get myself gifts. But I know I do appreciate whenever I get gifts. I was like, holy. Why am I on the online page? I don't want to ruin my mental. Let's do computers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's actually make it seem like I'm good at a game. At first I didn't know if that reply was, was sarcastic. No, I, th I feel like it was genuine. I feel like a lot of TikTok comments are genuine. And the only really sarcastic ones is when people are being kind of snarky. But that one wasn't snarky. I never get myself anything. I know. That's how it was for the longest time. <laughs> but then once I was able to like buy my own things or like have a little bit of spending money and i guess valuing time so what much more hi titans you missed dude you missed the first you missed the drama watch the vod um <clears throat> oh but thank you for the resub <laughs> thank you oh my god you have a flower badge ain't no way um what are you gonna say I think you have to, like, learn to give yourself care and attention, and then you'll kind of get over that, like, mental hurdle to treat yourself more. Oh my god, I forgot this map, I literally forgot it. Wait, hold? Oh, I've literally never gone this way. That path is easier, but probably not quicker. You look at the VOD later, actually? Any VOD watchers in chat? Type 1. All the flowers, I'm so jealous. You'll get there one day, Kobobo. Kelpium. <laughs> Kelpium. This map is easy now? Honestly, it's not as bad as the Berlin one, I think it's called. <laughs> I haven't played in three weeks. No, wait, we did the tournament. I forgot to recap the tournament. <laughs> Shit, fuck me, honestly. But we had the Meggy Sports Tournament on last Sunday. And everybody who got top three got top three the previous month. Whoop got pretty close, honestly. Trick off that. <laughs> oh no. I'm still super jealous of my sister because you know how she bought herself an OLED back in November, December? She literally hasn't used it in a month. She only bought it. Fuck. She only bought it so she could play Bayonetta when it came out. Because she knew that I used to switch to stream, but I only really stream when she's at work, so why would she need to, like, have her own console? So, literally, once she beat Bayonetta in, like, three days, because she played it all day and all night when she got home from work, she literally hasn't touched her OLED. And I asked her the other day, I was like, hey, when was the last time you used that OLED? Huh? Ain't no way. Caleb? Halen with a tier one? First time chatter? Recent follow? Thank you. Can we get some Waylands in chat? Thank you, man. Why are you guys hawing? Stop hawing. <laughs> hey, Kaylin, Kaylin. Can I ask why you subscribe? It's not often we get a first time chatter and sub. But thank you, man. <clears throat> I'm- okay, 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 okay. 
So all this past week, I've been like just in bed watching streams and shit, right? Does anybody, does anybody, fuck me, sorry. Does anybody know who Squeaks is? Does anybody know of him? Yeah, wait chatters, if we get one more person, subscribe or cheer bits, we'll have I've trained. Any Oilers? <clears throat> Dude, why is my voice so fucked? Oh, I just realized, I haven't talked in like a week. Hmm. Okay, I've been watching a lot of Squeaks. And the only reason I like found out about him was when he was on um, Kitty Cinderella's Master Baker show. <clears throat> but honestly, his streams are so and who? No way! Stop it! Stop it! Uh, he's a Mario 64 speedrunner. Oh, I thought I could make it. Master, stop it! Stop it! Does it, nobody? Okay, chatters, chatters. Be honest. Does anybody watch larger streamers? Does anybody? Because I feel like a lot of people who watch smaller streamers in their content, they don't necessarily like the big guys because they're like, oh, they're not niche enough. Or they don't talk to their chat. But I feel like there's a reason why bigger streamers are big and there's a reason why they're able to keep their platform and their audience no matter how long they've been streaming for. Like, they gotta be good at what they do, right? So I usually... <clears throat> I don't watch a lot of small streamers anymore, because I feel like watching small streamers as a small streamer yourself, it feels like you're just trying to network, quote-unquote, and it feels so disingenuous. Uh, anyway, if you're a small streamer watching, ignore what I just said. I'm lying for class. <laughs> Hi, Sinisters. Welcome in. <laughs> I hope to get at least a Minecraft rose for this, like The Bachelor. But thank you, Kaylin. I love to hear that. Just H3 on YouTube? Oh, I said big streamers, not big Twitch streamers. Whatever. Um, what was my main point? Yeah, so I've been watching a lot of Squeaks. And it's so funny, it's so- because like, you know how every like friend group has their like inside jokes? His stream is literally him speedrunning Mario, listening to TTS say like inside jokes with the chat, and he does that for like 4 or 5 hours, and it's so good. <laughs> and I think it's interesting because I feel like a lot of people will shape their day- Fuck! I hate- all these new tracks. I have yet- I've literally only played them like twice in the stream, so I'm still working on memorizing them. Do I watch any small streamers? No. It sucks because I feel like a lot of smaller streamers stream in the evening because that's quote unquote the best time to stream because that's when like everybody's getting home from work. If you are a small streamer, you most likely have a job. And also, <clears throat> that's when just more users are on the platform. So, a lot of small streamers that I follow, they stream in the evening, and I told myself in order for me to, like, go to bed at a healthy time, I should stop watching stream content at, like, 6 p.m., that way my brain can kind of, like, calm down. Because if I'm watching a streamer, I'm chatting, so it's a very, like, engaged form of content for me, and I can't, like, calm myself down quick enough if I watch stream content to- No! Perfect in the cave. I'm on. The... I'm in sixth place. Believers and shambles. <laughs> so like the least most streamers that I watch now are like my friends, but then they only really stream in the evening. The only person who streams earlier in the day is Scootish, but then he still streams at like 3 p.m. So usually right after I end. But I don't. <clears throat> um, what's a nice way of saying it? Um, his chat room isn't very funny. Like. They're not funny. <laughs> and that's something that is hard to like, it's very hard to shape your chat room once you have an established quote unquote community. Oh, I dodged those bananas like a pro. So that's why like, I try my best to like shape and mold you guys exactly how I want you to be, right? That's also why I don't necessarily read out um, every single chat message because I like to give attention to the messages that I do like, unlike us exactly. Fuck! Ooh, I thought I got blasted! <laughs> yeah, his chat room scared me once. Yeah, it's like, it's also very intimidating to go into a chat room that has like a lot of active chatters along with like a larger recap. 
that's why like <clears throat> you know um i encourage you guys to be like peace out to yo like say hi to everybody because it's very important to build that sense of not community i think the word camaraderie like friend friendship is important early on <clears throat> Okay, also, since I've been, like, crying all week, I have, like, phlegm building up in my throat and it won't go away. Still can't use motorcycles in Mario Kart? I'm literally the opposite, dude. I, I cannot handle a cart at all. I can't. And I think it also depends on what type of bike you use, because, like, my bike is a... Inside drift? So, like, the when I drift, it tilts very much to the side. I can both stop showing off. <laughs> I don't like people who brag. Easy. Wait, if Max still in chat. Wait, how did I save that? That was insane. Dude, I'm correct. Anyway, if Mac is still in chat, what are you doing for your birthday tomorrow? Oh, hi, Mac. <laughs> Sorry, I feel so bad now. I hate calling out people, but I know Mac is here. <laughs> Packing? Yeah, my dad works at Nintendo. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like... Call me addicted, but I always have to look at my chat room, and I've gotten really good at, like, glancing and reading a message. But I, I haven't streamed in a week, so I'm rusty. I'm rusty. <clears throat> you feel like your character's gonna fall off the bike? But that's part of the thrill. Look, I'm like parallel to the ground right now. It's part of the thrill. Dude, my lines are horrible. Did I get last in the tournament? Can somebody... Double check the leaderboard. I think I got last, right? Your mom is making a special dinner for you? Yeah, that's what she named me last night. Hey, yo! <clears throat> yes? Fuck. That's so, like... Honestly? Disappointing. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking of disappointing, but I couldn't think of, like, another word. Oh wait, shatters! Um, exclamation art in chat. Make sure you're following my other channel, peace and underscore art on Twitch. <clears throat> because we're doing calligraphy every so often. Maybe? Okay. Thoughts, thoughts. Because, like, <clears throat> another reason why I can't do, like, a full stream today is because Monday is launch day, so I have to do, like, everybody's sheets. So maybe... If I have to, if we do a short stream here with Mario Kart, then maybe we can do calligraphy on the second channel. <laughs> oh! <laughs> there was a banana on the finish line. <clears throat> I bought two, I was so sad. Guys, sad cam. I broke this nail this morning. Look at it, I finally like, grown out my nails. It took three weeks and then I broke one. I was so sad. Can we get some sadges in chat? <laughs> Dude, I didn't even see my ranking in this pre. It's probably like fourth. I, I took so many L's. <clears throat> I literally haven't done any of the stories on my cue cards. Okay, you guys wanna- Okay, one of my bullet points, I'll leak what one of them is. One of my bullet points is pre-thinking stories for stream. <laughs> oh my god, first? No way. Oh my god. I can't. Guys, I'm hilarious. <laughs> Let's practice some more. Okay, I, I'm gonna be nice to myself. I'll do 150cc. Not you exposing yourself, but I think it's funny. It's funny. <clears throat> I'm also just in a silly, goofy mood. Oh, I hate this drag. Do we want to do a prediction? Oh, I clicked on the wrong button. Fuck! Freaking! 
prediction is up! <laughs> it, the prediction is for this pre- do you think I will get first overall? Oh wait, this is 150cc, it's so- dude, this is so slow. Oh shit! <laughs> I always get triggered whenever I see the cars in game because I think I'm gonna like get into an accident in IRL. There's been so many times where I've been in the sidewalk or crossed in the street and almost gotten clipped by cars. And I don't know if it's my fault because like I remember one time I was walking through like downtown with my friend and they were like getting upset with me because I was taking too long of the crosswalk. And I was like, bitch, I'm fucking disabled. <laughs> no, I mean, we don't know yet. But my brain is too big for my skull. <laughs> I can't. Okay. I, okay. I was thinking about it this morning. You know, I'm gonna joke about it for so long. You guys can joke about it too. Just be like, big brain whenever like it's contextually making sense. But I don't want it to become my identity, you know what I mean? Because I think the people who try to hyper fixate on one specific aspect of themselves and make that their whole character, like, you'll see it a lot with, um, this is very touchy, but you'll see a lot of people who will use, like, their queerness or their, like, ethnicity as their whole being, and I don't think that's healthy either. <clears throat> Thank you for saying it. Yeah, it's like... Because you don't want to be known for just one thing, I think is the best way to say it. And there's so much more to you than just that one aspect of yourself. So it's not that I won't talk about it. Fuck, I couldn't shock dodge. But I don't want to make it my whole, I guess, character. Okay, 150cc is boring. This is so boring. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> Come on! Oh, get boomed. I got robbed. <clears throat> I don't want to be known for anything at all. Is that a good or a bad thing? Do you mean like... You just want to be anonymous and do bad things? Or just kind of like skirting by? Like, not a good person, but not a bad person. <clears throat> yeah, I totally get what you're saying, Kaylin. Because, like, I know when I was little, because, like, your parents would be like, look left, look right, and then left again. In my head, little, like, five-year-old Megan would be like, you know, I looked left, I looked right, I looked left again, but then, like, what if if I don't look right again, a car comes up? And then if I don't look left again, another car shows up. So it's just like a back and forth. So, I think you just have to look at where oncoming traffic is. Because no crazy motherfucker is gonna go, like, 45 in a residential zone. That's probably not gonna happen. Even though that is what happened to my parents when they got hit by a drunk driver. But that's like a very slim chance, okay? <clears throat> I just wish it would be more- oh, come on. I wish it would be more difficult to have a license. I was reading this one article that um, Inslee- Inslee is the governor for Washington State. He reposted like this article that was saying all these proposed methods to minimize the amount of automotive accidents in the state and one of the initiatives that some states or some counties were doing in Oregon I think it was but they were enacting like it wasn't a curfew but it was a clause that was saying you are not allowed within 10 feet of a road past like 9 p.m. and I was like that kind of makes sense but if you look at the American infrastructure there's like no fucking sidewalks or if, even if there are sidewalks, there's no, like, space between the sidewalk and the road. So it's like, how are people gonna be able to go out safely, quote-unquote, and not get fined after 9pm if there's no goddamn sidewalks, or if the sidewalks are within a foot of the road? 
Like, huh? And like the that part of the article was basically saying, yeah, in the counties that they've tried this, there's been a lot less people out on the sidewalks past 9 p.m. because they don't want that $400 fine. But it's like, huh? I don't get it. Know what's hard as is? People should be required to retake the test every couple years. I agree with that. I think every like five years is fair. It's fair. It's fair. <laughs> Because I feel like so much can happen in five years. Especially old people, yeah. I agree. Is there an age where they can take away your license? Because, I'm trying to think. Motherfucker. <laughs> I don't think my grandpa stopped driving. It's just they lived in an area to where they didn't necessarily need to drive as much as they could have. But then my grandma, she stopped driving when she was like 40 because she got into an accident. And then she's just like, I'm never driving again. Dude, I was thinking to myself, I'm doing pretty good right now, but this is 150cc computers. Guys, I promise I'm gonna Mario Kart. This is my main game. <laughs> Easy. Screw the doubters, I'm gonna get first overall. I think people should be able to do whatever they want as long as it's legal and you're not hurting anybody. But I think if your cognitive or your physical ability is limited, then I don't think you should be able to drive. Because there are some people <clears throat> who, like, for example, who have, like, partial sight and they can still drive, but they have, like, a special license that way if they get pulled over officials know that they have a disability that could hinder their driving ability but in my head you can have a license you can still drive yourself but I personally would feel guilty if I couldn't like physically drive to the best of my ability that's literally why I didn't try to get my license after I took my written test because you guys know the meta who I'm gonna drive, let me read the whole driver's manual on stream back in like July and August, but then I never like practiced because I was still so scared of like freezing up the wheel, like literally, because like one of my symptoms that I'll experience is like I'll get very tired and very numb, sometimes I can't move my arms or my legs, so it's like, I don't want to be behind the wheel, even if I do have my license, and like, something happened, and then I, like, kill somebody. Dude, imagine the headlines. <laughs> streamer murders somebody. Dude, did it, wasn't there some Twitch streamer in Ireland who murked somebody? I watched the Moist Critical video this morning, but I wasn't really listening. Because <clears throat> basically this one guy, he was streaming himself playing like a GTA 5, not GTA 5, a GTA game. But it was like a pre-recorded VOD that he was streaming to YouTube or whatever. And then he went and like murdered somebody during the stream. Even though it wasn't live because it was pre-recorded. It was wild. <clears throat> That's one way to get some free clout? I know, right? But how far will clout take me in jail? Dude, imagine, imagine. I go to jail for manslaughter, right? And then everybody else is like, Oh my god, it's Peason underscore 17, no way! <laughs> That'd go crazy. Nah, that ain't never happening. <clears throat> easy. You know what else is easy? Subscribing. Because chatters, we are officially... In our industry, so it's time for me to tell you 
if you are new to the channel, first hit that follow button. And no way, you get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. <clears throat> and if you want to avoid that ad, all you got to do is subscribe for $4.99. Just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for a few with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. Also, if you gift five subs by the end of the month, you get a sketch card. Wowie. Anyway, get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Oh, also, uh, Caitlin, I forgot to say it earlier, but since you subscribed, you do get your name written at the end of stream in our calligraphy journal. Wowie. Now that the non-subs are gone, I'm going to take a bite to eat. My chicken is cold. I just... <laughs> I just realized. Are they a TikTok pro? No, I think Kaylin said they watched a YouTube video earlier. They could be a rare tick or YouTube frog. Get back to it. Yeah, I think Luigi also found my clips on YouTube, too. My YouTube clips channel has been doing significantly well in the past month. And I legitimately think it's because it's of the Subway Surfers meta you you're seeing on TikTok. Where people are just, like, posting movie clips or them talking and then gameplay underneath. That's the current meta on TikTok, and it's honestly going well for me. It's not like I'm doing anything different than my normal clips. You know, it's just me talking over a game like I'm doing now. But uh, they've been doing so well. Like, my clips channel on YouTube, it's a bit skirting. Like, I usually get like 10 to 50 subs every month. You know, slow and steady growth. But this past month in January, I've gotten like 125 subs. Which is nearly three times the normal amount. I've been getting a lot more comments as well. So, I know a lot of people are saying the gaming meta is cringe, but you know, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like my YouTube comments, there's a few wholesome people, but a lot of them are like really snarky. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's whatever, I don't give a fuck. I never look in my flagged YouTube comments, like the ones that are marked as, like, need to be reviewed. Because anytime I look at those, they're just fat comments. And then if, when I do choose to, like, open those floodgates, I just chuckle. It's funny. Because it's like, you're spending your time writing this rude comment, thinking it's gonna ruin my day, but you're just boosting my videos in the algorithm. Fuck it! So it's like, rip bozo. Oh, okay, I forgot there's like gaps in the middle. That guy's bomb. Oh no! No! Freak! Damn, I was close. I think I still got first overall though, because I only got one second place. Ooh, two second places? Cringe. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to ask you guys. What have you guys been doing this past week? Did you miss me? What'd you do? <laughs> Were you just like refreshing the chat? Peace and go live. <laughs> Going to school and work? Mood. Oh my god, I got so mad yesterday because I've been trying to change my homework schedule. I'm trying to do, instead of binging everything and waiting till the weekend or Friday, Saturday, Sunday to do my work, I'm trying to do like one to two hours every day. So I tried that this week. <clears throat> um, oh wait, I'll, I'll do online now. I'll actually game, okay? Oh, why am I doing two player? Ah! 
<laughs> I don't look, don't look. There's no leaks. <laughs> um. So anyway, so I, I tried to do like, um, one to two hours every day. So then I still usually submit everything on the day it's due. That way I can like double check everything. Ooh, what should I do? So usually all our submission dates are on like the Sunday of every week. So then I have another coding class this month, which is pretty cool. Um, we're expanding on CSS, HTML, and then we're also learning some basic JavaScript, I think. Um, <clears throat> oh, and the prediction. Did I get first overall? Yes, of course. Fuck the doubters. Um, okay, let's do prediction. First place by, let's see, it's 12.15. Let's do, do you think I'll get a first place by 12.30 p.m.? Chatters go gamba. Do you think I will get first place by 12.30? So 15 minutes. Got a 92 in an algebra test? That's pretty good, man. Claps in chat for hacker. But still not that E+. Plus. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was mean. That was a domestic abuse joke. That was bad. Cancel me. I'm sorry, that was bad. <laughs> sorry. I was gonna do it like a clap clap, and then I did a <laughs> slap. Oopsie. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so I was working on my homework and the submission time that is due every Sunday is 9 p.m. And I go to open my school website at 5 p.m. to submit and the whole website is down. So I'm like, uh oh, is it just my computer? So I try to open it on my phone and it didn't work. I was like, oh, is it just my internet? And then I went on my data and then it still didn't work. And I was like, oh fuck, uh oh. So like I checked the school's Twitter and it took them like an hour for them to post to be like, Oh yeah, the servers are down, hopefully it'll be back up soon. So, and I was looking at all the replies and everybody's like, Oh my god, I hope the professors know, or oh my god, I better get an extension. But like, the whole school website was down, so like even for the teachers and stuff. Cause like my college, they do in-person and online courses. So everybody uses the online UI. So basically, it was down for like three hours, and then... Oh my god! Wait, I forgot this was online! I was like... <laughs> I was like, damn, these computers are good! Damn. <laughs> oh, saved? I was really bad at submitting stuff one time. See, that's kind of how I am. Like, if I... I can do the work, it's just a matter of like, getting the motivation to do it is my problem. That's why like in school, like high school, during like tests or assignments, I really love the time writing essays because it kind of forced you to get all that done in an hour. Dude, why are there so many like sweats? I'm just a casual gamer. Oh my god, fourth place? No way. Actually correct? Oh damn, I thought I hit that guy. Ah! <laughs> dude, I got scared. <clears throat> damn, okay, well I came back from last place. It's not that bad. Oh yeah, so the website was down for like three hours. Everybody was freaking out on Twitter. But then I was like... If the whole website is down, then the teachers can't like penalize you. And if they did, they would get fucking complaints. So I was like, I just... I turned my computer off until like 7 p.m. I was like, I'll check it in two hours. I check it at 7. Everything is back up and running. So, I was like, GG's, I'm fine. I miss having teachers who care about me passing. Dude, I feel that. My um, 11th grade social studies teacher, I remember I had like a C in the class. And what he would do is if, because it was AP history. Um, if you like got a good if you got a passing grade on the ap exam he would increase your your um class grade by a whole letter so i i didn't pass <laughs> the ap exam sad but he still bumped my grade up because he still had like an extra credit assignment at the end of the year so i just couldn't claim two double credit assignments 
in college they just let you drown I think that's a lot of people experiences but from what I've had is that most of my professors are super nice and understanding about stuff I think it's because I'm part of like the online program to where they're a lot more lenient in the curriculum because like how it works I I'm still getting a bachelor's <clears throat> But instead of graduating in two years, the program is, excuse me, is, sorry, two and a half years. So, like, the curriculum is spread out. Um, so you're still learning all the same things and the same amount of things, but you're just learning less every month. And because of that, they're able to, like, structure their assignments a bit differently. They can give you more time on things. Like, I haven't had any real negative experiences with any professor, besides just some of the grading being kind of nitpicky, but you know, that's how it always is. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I look away for a second. Don't- This is why you cannot text and drive. One of my roommates, I get so annoyed, because they're the only one who has a car, okay? But, so they'll be like driving me to the store, and- Wait, should I self-report? <laughs> and they'll like see their phone like go off or like vibrate in their pocket. And I'm like, no, nope. I'm like, don't you dare touch it. Don't you dare take it out of your pocket. Because if I'm in the car, you know, I'm going to make sure you're acting as safely as you can. And also like if an officer sees that you have your phone, like even reach for your phone or have it in your hand, or like navigating your GPS, they can still pull you over and ticket you. Like some cops are so nitpicky about that shit. But ultimately, you should never use your phone when you're driving because you could hurt yourself or other people on the road. My brain gets the urge to want to touch it. Yeah, so best tip, just put your phone on silent. Keep it in your purse or keep it in your backpack. It's not worth reaching for it and looking away for a few seconds, okay? If it's ne not necessarily the safety thing that is bothering you, just think about the $500 ticket you're going to have to pay. Think about the 100 Starbucks coffees you can't have. Think about the 100 subs you can't subscribe to me with, okay? <laughs> but you use it for music and GPS? Then just get one of those mounts. I feel like, for the most part, a lot of, like... What's it called when the phone, like, listens to what you say? Text? No. Not text to speech. But the AI is pretty good. Oh, another thing that they're not good at? Cause, like, I'll pull up the GPS on my phone and have it speak to say directions. It'll say, like, oh, turn right in 50 feet. But then, they're just clueless so they don't turn right and it's so annoying. It's so annoying. Okay, I'm taking L after L. I have eight minutes to get a first. <clears throat> I think it's also hard for me to like understand truly because like I've never driven. But I know if I did drive, I would just keep my phone silent. Sometimes when I would bike, like, I would text and bike. So one hand on the handlebar, one hand texting. But, um, I got to a point to where I was like, I'll just mute my phone. Because even on the bike, I was like, it's not worth potentially falling off my bike. Which I've done many times. See, that's kind of how I am too, Kaylin. Like, one, there's, like, so much anxiety with driving that I've been told that I'll get over, but I haven't gotten over yet. But I think there will come a time to where you'll be fully comfortable. I think definitely, like, driving in the passenger seat helped me a lot. Because, like, I have my younger sister, so whenever we'd be in the car as a family, we'd always be in the back seat. But, like, being in my friend's car is, like sitting in the front seat. I feel a bit better. Do when you're ready. Don't force it. Yeah, exactly, Matt. I, I think, Mac, you're an example of, like, it took a bit longer, but, you know, you got there. 
Holy ninth place! <laughs> I'm so good at this game. Easy! Dude, should I go pro? Oh, what the fuck? I got another guy. The banana was right in front of you, but then somebody else spun out because of it. That's cool. I guess. Dreams, I think. Oh my God, is that messy? Actually, try hardy. <laughs> hey, my goal today is to get at least one top three. That is my overall goal. I do still only have four minutes to get first. Okay, I think I'm gonna start actually looking at my cue card now. Another thing that I figured out, because you know how I was saying my roommates like it where it's freaking 70 degrees inside the house? I figured out that you can schedule like what temperature at what time you want the thermostat to be at. So we've all agreed that we can like bump it down to like 55 when it's like bedtime. Because like when you're sleeping, you can't really feel the temperature, right? So at like 10 p.m. it goes to 55 and it it's so nice it's i'm able to finally sleep again it wakes you up damn good thing you're not in this house then because like before it was just way too hot it was way too hot oh i hate this track i'm gonna go first cobium Should I make a streamer house, type 1? <laughs> I don't think I could ever live in a content house seriously. Or live with somebody else who streams. Because I would then feel like every interaction I had with my roommates would be content. Like whether they be like filming me or doing something that's specifically for a bit or for like a story time for their content. Because, like, you know the micro-influencers? I feel like everything that they do is to make, like, a TikTok about it, right? So, like, if I'm going out to get coffee or brunch, they're gonna make a TikTok about it. And it, it just feels weird. And just to think that somebody I live with is just doing things with me for content, I don't think I could ever get over. Make a house for chat. I don't know if I could handle you guys for that long. <laughs> oh yeah, I definitely have nostalgia for this map too. Because I grew up playing Mario Kart Wii. Oh my god, we didn't play Mario Kart Wii during Wii Week. Cancel me. Oh, we should have done that today. Wait, can I do it today? Should we do Mario Kart Wii today? No, I think I would lose my mind. Because they- Isn't it- they, Don't they only have tilt controls? 
Oh no. We'll, s <laughs> we'll save it for another day. I can't handle the mental turmoil today. Okay, I just realized this is mirror mode, and it makes sense why I'm in last place. Your cancellation is overdue, I know. How many times have you said cancel me? I feel like I've said it so many times today. Because I've realized I need to think of new bits. I need to think of new jokes. Not that I won't reuse jokes all the time, but I just need to think of new ones. Easy. Plus one. Oh, why do you use the bullet now? That's so bad. Oh my god, I'm Rainy. Can we get some pizza to Yo's for Rainy? Oh, <laughs> I just realized. The big brain is gonna be the new joke meta, isn't it? It's gonna be the new meta. Okay. If you follow me on Twitter, you know what the tweet was, right? But I, I said, Peace I2 Big Brain is no longer a joke. I was rereading the tweet and I realized it looked like kind of negative. I'm looking. I wish I could edit my tweets. I wish I could edit them, but I'm not playing for Twitter Blue. Cause screw Elon. <gasps> oh my God! They got boom. Did you see the guy right in front of me? I just saw that and commented. Thank you. I'll look at it after stream. Twitter Blue is such a scam. I agree. I feel like so many people bought it just for the meme. But then it's also like minus eight dollars. Also minus seven points for the believers because I did not get first place by twelve thirty. Sorry. <clears throat> I don't think I. It's eleven now, bro. Everybody who's paying for Twitter Blue is just cucking themselves. That's like two subscriptions to the Peace in Seventeen channel they're missing out on. It's fourteen for you. Oh, that's because you're Canadian, not us Americans. I feel like, hmm. Cause like, you also need to think about like, what other utility a blue subscription has. Like looking at all the merits, to me, the only function that I would use would be the edit function. But otherwise, I feel like it's only good for like, companies. Which we aren't just yet. Okay, I actually need to look at my cue card. I need to farm clips, okay? We're, we're farming. <clears throat> Companies have a higher subscription? Really? The thing that I do like about social media is that it's a free market for the most part. The only thing that really dictates and controls it is the algorithms. Whether it be like YouTube, TikTok, or Twitter. Those very much dictate what content is being seen and promoted. So you're very much at the mercy of the actual application. But I don't think it's fair to charge for it. Or if it was previously a free service and then you charge for it. Okay, I was thinking about this the other day, but I genuinely think so many companies are switching to subscription-based services. Like, you know how some car companies will charge you monthly to have, like, heated seats? I mean, those I think I've only really seen in, like, higher name or bigger name car brands. But still, that's insane. Why are they capitalizing on things that were previously free or included in the normal purchase? And then suckers will still buy the products! So we're all just bigger suckers! Electric vehicles have packages you, you can pay for? Yeah, I think it's so scam! It's also hindering innovation, I think. Or the accessibility to innovation. Elon would make you pay to breathe. Sorry, I just saw that already. <laughs> I mean, isn't that what NA Healthcare basically is? 
Because, like, the whole ordeal with my big brain debacle, right, is... I feel like I could have gotten procedures or testing done sooner. Because I've been struggling for over a year at this point. All of my symptoms have been downplayed. But now that my something is actually fucking wrong with my brain, it, it just feels like it all could have been helped or avoided sooner. And it's obviously not everybody's gonna have the same experience because it all depends on what insurance you have or like what country you live in. But I don't understand why if America is the world leader, the world power, one of the more, like the wealthiest countries, it's like, why can't they provide for the civilians? It, it's genuinely so troubling to me. Because like, you know, I'm young. I'm blessed in the sense to where I'm healthy. But I can't imagine the struggle that other people go through, you know? What I've learned from doctors is if you don't push for it yourself, they don't do it. See, that's kind of what I feel too. But I, I was telling my doctors, like, I feel like something is wrong. I feel like it could be like fibromyalgia or MS. And they're like, no, no, you're fine. You're just overweight or you just need to eat better. But then it's like, my brain is too big for my skull. I, cause like, I haven't seen my PCP since I had my MRI referrals. So like, I just want to go back and be like, bitch, you see this? <laughs> okay, and I'm joking. I'm, I'm done joking. <laughs> I, I'm able to joke about it now cause I'm honestly not, I've just accepted it, but still it's kind of sad. Oh, I didn't do another prediction. Should we do another prediction? Let's do first place by 1 p.m. Everybody go gamba. It's probably the best thing to joke. Yeah, honestly. <clears throat> I know for me, it usually takes a while to process things. But then with certain scenarios, I can easily get over them. Like, if somebody wrongs me, I can easily cut them out of my life. I'm like, I don't want to deal with this shit. I don't need this drama. Goodbye. But then in turn, some things will take a while to rationalize. Because, like, I'm the type of person to where I overthink everything. Like, any type of conversation I have, I will hyper-focus on what I say and then how they reply. Like, if I'm texting somebody... <clears throat> And I don't get a reply within like an hour, like I'll open the chat log and be like, did I say something weird? Did I say something wrong? And then I, it's hard to not like spiral from there. But with this big brain thing, it's just funny. Oh my god, second place? Holy. You went back like five times. See, that's like what I was worried about too, Rainy. It's like. And, like, uh, there's, there's just so much shit. Like, I feel like everything I was experiencing was downplayed by any doctor I saw. Even though they seemed, like, empathetic or understanding, it still felt like... Oh, that guy was going backwards. <laughs> Are they D.U.M.? Oh, dude, I am D.U.M. But, you know, they just can't, like, diagnose you too early on or give you, like, false, I guess, pretenses for what it could be. So I understand. But it's just a bummer. Okay, enough being sad. Let's talk about something fun. Oh, I, was I was talking to my sister about this the other day. Cause, Cause she wants to go to Disneyland and she wants to go to Nintendo World. But I'm kind of like hesitant to it. Cause like I know I can't walk for that long. So she was like, we can just get you a wheelchair. And I was like, true you could. But I was like, then you'd have to push me around all day. But then she was like, don't you get, like, special treatment? She was like, don't you get to cut the lines? And I was like, wait, maybe. <laughs> Skipping all the lines, baby. <clears throat> she wants that line cut? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. She's exploiting me. <laughs> Something fun can't compute? Uh-oh. We've broken Rainy. Because, like, and we, okay, 
We were looking at hotel prices because for funsies, we were like, let's look at how much like the actual Disney themed hotels are. And like some of the rooms were at like literally a thousand dollars a night. It's crazy. I should have gotten a knife because this chicken is hard to cut with a fork. <clears throat> my sister has used my condition to get off work. Be like, oh yeah, I need to take her to the doctor today. Is an Airbnb cheaper? I think it depends. Because I think it only really makes sense to rent out an Airbnb if you're going with a large group of people. I just looked at the prediction. There is no believers. That is very mean. Wait, look how curly my hair is now. It's fully dry. Oh my god, hi, Emmy! Did we get some pizza to use for Emmy? Well, welcome in. Hope you're doing well today, hon. Okay, I'm tryharding because this map is easy. I have a chance to actually win. I've also heard so many horror stories about like Airbnbs too, like how they'll be like, oh you stained this pillow so you have to pay $200 to replace it. Like I've stayed in a few hotels and not saying that I've trashed it, okay? I'm, I'm not crazy, but you know like hotels have the means to replace most anything that could be like stained or whatever or ruined possibly. Because like one time we stayed in a room and like we touched the hair dryer that was on the wall and it was cracked and we were like we didn't do this we're like uh oh because like i think the damage fee for that room was specifically like 50 dollars, so not that bad but we were like please we're like please they cannot find this because we literally touched it and it was already broken so that just means like either the people before us broke it or maybe there was like an earthquake or something i don't know but thankfully, the hotel staff didn't notice it, so we didn't get charged. Oh yeah, ordering like the fresh, warm towels is nice. It is kind of nice. Oh my god, fifth place? Dude, I was hoping for a mushroom. Fuck me. I saw the red and I got so excited. Yeah, I totally agree with the game. I'm like... I think the premise of like staying in a place temporarily like, like temporarily like an Airbnb is fine, but I don't think I could ever trust it. Cause like a genuine fear that I have is that like people have cameras in rooms. Like I'm so scared of that shit. Not that I'm doing anything bad. But <laughs> eighty a night? That's okay. 80 a night? That's crazy. That's like some cheap ass digi hotel shit here. Because usually, like, even chain hotels, they'll start at like 200 a night. 80 is crazy cheap. It's crazy cheap. I'm trying to convince my sister to get a steamer. Not like a towel steamer, but um, you know how when you steam food? Cause you can get like the little bamboo like basket things, but they have like little countertop portable ones. Cause then I was like, I can just buy like frozen dim sum or shumai and I can make it at home. Oh my god, is that Link? Oh my crazy, I- Ooh, I saved? Yeah, supposedly the best time to travel, just in general, is from January to April, I believe. Because that's after, like, all the holidays. It's usually right before graduation for college kids. So that's where you'll see, like, generally, like, discounted rates for, like, hotels and stuff. 
<laughs> yeah, what's nice about- oh my god. What's nice about our kitchen setup is that it's really spacious. So we got very lucky with the unit we were able to rent out. But then it's also like, I, I don't need to buy more appliances. Because now that I'm able to cook for myself, I want to learn how to like actually cook. Like I don't want to re rely on like a crock pot or an instapot. Like I need to learn the actual techniques. Oh my god, third place? No way! Holy! No! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Did you ever get an air fryer? No, we did not yet. Because an air fryer is literally just a baby oven and you do not need it. Oh, dude, I was gonna take that item box. No! Robbed. Okay. I just need to hope he, get, he gets boomed by something. Believers, hold on to your seats. Oh, I have only got a single item box. <gasps> no! Oh my god. I think that what fucked me up with air fryers is I literally don't know what temp to put it at. I feel like that's the problem. Sorry, I'm upset. I got robbed. Talking about getting robbed, um... <laughs> if you're new to the channel, click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. And if you're already following, make sure your notifications turn on, because we are another 30 minutes into stream. Talking about getting robbed? Huh? <laughs> what is that transition? Guys, I'm rusty. It's been a week. <clears throat> Water's all gone. Okay, now I'm gonna look at my cue card. For the fourth time, I know! But you know what this means? If I don't use the cue card, then that means I'm able to keep talking and chat is talking. Like, you guys usually dictate what we talk about. Oh, in the first place, somebody clip, clip, clip! Fuck, it's over. It's gone. <laughs> Hold! Okay, I'm trying. I'm not gonna talk. I can't, I can't, this is too stressful. I literally- did I open this race saying this is literally like my worst map? Oh my god, oh my god. Dude, I'm- I, I'm so scared, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. If I get first, I'll give the sub. Not even joking. Fuck. Hey, you know this trick? You hold on to the coin hoping you get- a good item. Okay, that sucked. No! No! Shit. Fuck. Get boomed, get boomed. No way! If I hadn't flubbed the line. 
Yeah, I will not be playing Hogwarts Legacy. Because I don't like... What is her name? J.K. Rowling, and I don't like Harry Potter. But I think the whole takeaway with people choosing to boycott the game, I think you were in your total right to do so, but you should not shame people for wanting to play the game or like making YouTube videos or streaming the game because ultimately <clears throat> there is a line to where some people are able to respect the media but also separate the creator and some people can't and that's fine like I, i'm fine if people buy to people play it because everybody has their own different moral compass and i don't think you should be shamed for that specific quote-unquote decision when there are a wider range of things that people should be criticized for. Finally, someone said it, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Rainy, I can't. So, finally, someone said it, yeah. I only have good takes. I only have good takes. You know this, Emmy. I think another thing is when it comes to consuming media, there's so many people involved in the process. Like if you think about a movie, there's the directors, there's the actors, those are the people you usually, you usually think about. But then there's also the costume designers, the set designers, the graphic designers, the people who edit the commercials and previews. There's so much more than just one person to a production. And. I think especially when it comes to things that are creative, like whether it be like music or film, I think you should still enjoy that media. Because there's a lot of people who put a lot of time and effort into it, and one person should not ruin it. I think this is obviously different than, um, hmm, Ooh, okay, okay. It's, it's hard because- Oh my god, I, <laughs> I got debated, but I, I dodged. I'm scaring this guy. <gasps> oh, come on, bro. <laughs> I think it's different to boycott, like, a celebrity than a production. Because, for example, I personally choose to not watch or support Dave Chappelle. Because obviously, comments and jokes he made are inappropriate. But he is just one individual, right? That's the personality. Versus a movie or a game. That's a whole production. There are probably hundreds, maybe thousands of people who have a part in it. So those are potentially like hundreds of people missing out on an opportunity or a job. Okay, that wasn't cool. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Okay, the thing about like Blizzard and shit is that every workplace environment has harassment to some capacity. It's just, it's only an issue when it goes neglected. And on such a, like a massive scale where it's just a part of the work culture. So I understand why people will boycott Blizzard, but harassment happens everywhere. Like, the real life is not sunshine and rainbows. It's bound to happen. That's why! If you see anything in your workplace or in your school that is concerning, always report it to your superiors or your counselors. Because if you report it and they do nothing and something happens, then it's their fault. <clears throat> and also, you should always report incidents or possible issues because you never know if it's just you experiencing the harassment or issues. <laughs> wow, isn't even that good? Somebody said it. Somebody said it. Yeah. I haven't read or talked about anything on my cue card. <laughs> I have some good ones too. <laughs> I feel like WoW games are. It's boring. It's boring. Read us the card? No. I'm not gonna leak all my content. It's cringe. 
<clears throat> Am I talking loud enough? Because I, I feel like if I don't have the headsets on, I talk softer. Rainy, you were like the wholesome streamer and chatter, but then you use Craigasm all the time. I don't understand it. You know what that emote means, right? <laughs> he just looks shocked. You could say that. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh my god, Zika Blaze, no way. Okay, should I do my first story time? Should I finally do my first story time? This is a new one. <laughs> okay, so most of y'all know I don't drink, I don't smoke, I'm a goody two-shoes. So because of that, we don't have any alcohol in the house. I mean, the previous tenants left some like wine and vodka here, but I, I just have them tucked away in a cupboard. But... For a recipe that I wanted to make, it's, it's a wine-based cream sauce for chicken. So we had to go and buy wine. So it was me and my roommates all together. We're all of age, but like we look kind of young. And the wine bottle that I chose specifically, I'll show a picture. It, it looks modern, like it looks like a really fancy water bottle. <laughs> so when we were checking out the lady at the counter, she's like, Oh, I just thought this was a water bottle. And then we all like took out our IDs and we were good. So I get home. And then I go to make the recipe, and I open the bottle. And the bottle, it has like a plastic cap, so I didn't think there would be a cork. But I take off the cap, and there's a cork. And I'm like, brick. Because since none of us drink, we don't have a bottle opener. We don't have a cork to it. We don't have nothing. So I frantically, I'm like, what can I use to fry this cork out? So I tried a knife, which is very unsafe. So I looked up, I looked up a WikiHow article on how to uncork a wine bottle without it opening. <clears throat> so I tried the key method. It didn't work because since I am very strong, apparently, I pushed the cork in the bottle and then I'm like, oh no. I start freaking out because I'm like, is this like food safe? Because like now that I can cook for myself, I'm very like mindful of like how I prep stuff. I'm very clean. But I looked it up and having the cork in the bottle is fine. And I was like, oh, thank God. But it was so funny! <laughs> and I don't think I'll go out and buy a wine opener, because I'm not going to use it again. Like, that bottle of white wine is going to last a while. I just realized I have no items. Oh my god. Okay, third place! That was my personal goal for the day. I'll take it. Ooh, I got 17 points. My favorite number. <clears throat> It gets sanitized while cooking. That, that's what I thought too. So I was like, if the cork is dirty, when you cook the wine, it kills the germs. Yeah. It was funny. I felt so silly trying to open the wine bottle too. <laughs> that was what I was going to tweet out the other day. But I couldn't think of a way to word it. Like, briefly, because I think the best tweets are the ones that are just, like, one sentence. Like, just one-liner jokes. I think those are bangers. But I, I couldn't figure out how to word it into one line. Because, like, I want to try and be more active on Twitter, but then I also feel like Twitter is just, like, a space where people say shit and then nobody actually cares. Thoughts? <clears throat> oh, yeah. This was the chicken I made. For the wine. I care. Thank you, Mac. No, this is mirror mode. Why do I keep getting these? class now hi titans what did i miss everything watch the vod <laughs> okay any punk 
Anytime somebody says, what did I miss? I'm just gonna say, watch the bug. <laughs> Another thing I was thinking about, because I'm not necessarily self-conscious about my stream or my content, because, like, the biggest thing I try to do is make sure it's fun for me and also the people who are watching live. And, like, I usually try and do, or I want to try and do, like, planned streams every month. Like, how we're doing Valentine's, and then January we did some of Wii content. And, like, I had this thought in my head where, like, the current meta on Twitch is, like, collabs or, like, shows. But I feel like if you only try to do that type of content and you put such or so much time and production into it, I feel like you kind of forget the times where you just enjoy spending the time with your viewers. Because I know whenever I am stream, I'm always in a good mood. Like, I love talking to everybody. You know, we goof, we gap. And I think... Somebody who helped me realize that was just watching, like, Squeaks' stream over the past week. Because they're all very similar. You know, he plays a game, they say the jokes, they do the thing, and then he ends. But it's just like, you're enjoying the time you have in that moment. And I think that's... It's a pretty thing, you know? Knowing that every moment you spent together was a good one. Hi, Crystal. Welcome back. Oh my fucking god! Yeah, I hate mirror mode. It's the worst. I, I remember seeing this one clip. I think it was in like a You Laugh You Lose compilation we watched a while ago. But it was everybody doing. What track is it? It's like the roller coaster one. And then it was mirror mode, but everybody rammed it to the wall. And it was funny. I wish I could find the clip. Okay, can I just say it's cute how everybody just says peace I to yo automatically now? That's adorable. You know what else is adorable? Not having believers, because I did not get first place by one o'clock. Sad. Let's see, we're at 150 uptime. Don't Pepe laugh me, you're mean. <laughs> oh, big blue, easy. <clears throat> I'm in a good mood. I'm feeling good. Let's play for another 30 minutes, because I need to get through my cue card. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What if my bit, what if my, we'll play till 130. What if my joke is that there's just nonsense written on the cue card. And I have no content. <laughs> Big brain. <laughs> Holy. <clears throat> Big blood, huh? Are you talking about the blood clots I thought I had in my brain, huh? <laughs> I, can't. I can't. See, it's gonna get to a point where I can joke. But then it's also gonna be like weaponizing a potential disability, and I feel like that's controversial. I don't know. Thoughts? <laughs> Does that mean your brain can have more folds and be smarter? No, typically, people who are more intelligent have smaller brains. Because if your brain is smaller, then the neurons in your brains have to travel physically less distant. So you're able to process things quicker. So no, it does not mean I am smarter. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Rainy. I appreciate the sympathy. <laughs> Did we get some sadness in chat? <laughs> I'm fine, though. I'm trolling. I'm glad it's, like, kind of funny, though. Cause like, imagine there was like a tumor or some shit, it's like, how can I joke about that? It's like, how can I possibly joke about this? But brain too big? That's content. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was looking at chat. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Clean. Oh, 
I'll take a third. Cause like if I get top three, then I start at the start at the at the start of the starting line the next race. So then my probability of getting first is increased. <clears throat> Feeling chaotic, let's do Rainbow Road. Imagine that's your excuse for everything. Sorry, I can't go, my brain is too big. <laughs> I mean, basically. That's gonna become like my go-to scapegoat. Just be like, oh, my brain hurts. But nah, my, my sister and my roommates have been very understanding about everything. They're trying to be like, as accommodating as they can. Gonna steal from Walmart? Why are you admitting to crimes, huh? You get cancelled and you blame it on your big brain? I mean... Theoretically, my doctor doesn't think it's affecting my cognitive functions, so I don't know if that's a good scapegoat yet. Keyword, yet. I was just gonna say, who's playing Mario Kart at 1 p.m.? <laughs> it's all the international people. <laughs> I was like, what little five-year-old is skipping school and playing Mario Kart? Oh my god! <laughs> you? I'm not five- Guys, stop! I'm not five! If I was five, I would not be allowed to stream on Twitch. I don't- Okay. Controversial. But in order to, like, have a Twitch account, you need to be 13. I think that's fair. Because, like, a lot of Twitch content is not necessarily mature, but I feel like the environments in which a stream can become, can become, like, mature. Like, the actual messages and the commentary that a streamer says can be considered more mature, or, like, teen at least. But I don't think 13-year-olds should be streaming. Because, like, if you think about it... Just in general, social media, like, breaks your brain. And I feel like out of all types of content creation, streaming definitely breaks your brain the most. Because you're getting, like, live feedback from your viewer base. Like, you are essentially being criticized and watched at all times in which you are alive. So, I can understand the argument that I think it's fair that minors can, like, stream and, like, make money from it. But I think having that many potential eyes or scrutiny, I think, is damaging for, like, their mental health more than anything. Oh, is TikTok Live's really 18 plus? I didn't know that. That's great to hear. Because there's, like, way too many kids on TikTok. I get kind of scared sometimes. And, like, another argument to bring up with, like, minors, like, streaming or whatever, it's, like, they're minors. You don't know who is watching you. Like, you know how the whole issue a few years on YouTube where there would be, like, perverts time-stamping videos in which minors would look sus, you could say. And that was a big problem. Like, you... I don't think any kid should be broadcasting themselves. Like, even on YouTube, I don't think YouTube family vlog channels are okay. I think they're inherently exploitative, and there's not a lot of child labor laws concerning it. But... I agree that minors should not be streaming. Talking about stealing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Actually, story time. Now labor laws aren't enforced well at all yet. And you know why? Because we live in a capitalist society here in America. So all the legislators shilling or encouraging 13 year olds to start working at McDonald's is just the culture. And when it's part of the culture, then nobody's going to speak up about issues or be willing to stand up for themselves or feel like they're part of society to be exploited. I agree. Thank you. Oh my god, first time chatter. Can we get some peace out to yo's? Chip? If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me, but welcome in. <clears throat> I don't like any of these tracks, I'm not gonna lie. Childhood actors, for an example, yes, I don't like how there's not significant protections for them. Oh my god. Why'd I say oh my god? Okay. 
Oh, wait. <laughs> I still haven't done anything off of the cue card. <laughs> yeah, there's just nothing written on here. <laughs> so who won the clip thing last month? Um, Kobobo won for December, but you won for January, Crystal. So I'll message you after stream. You go by Chip? Sounds good. But welcome in, man. You also get free follower emotes, so feel free and use those as well. Okay, not gonna lie, Kobobo, I was surprised you got beaten out for the clips. Cause to, just to explain it briefly, whoever- Oh my god, this is fast. This is 200. I think this is 200 CC. Holy second place! Whoever makes the best and the most clips gets a gift card and VIP for a month. Fuck. But it's not necessarily whoever makes the most clips. You have to make good clips. Meaning clips that are good for like the best of comp. Because <laughs> the top clip for January. Honestly, screw Crystal. The top clip for the month is called you are queer and it's just me saying you are queer because <laughs> it, it was during a, a little argument we had and that was the top clip of the month no obviously that one performed well i can see why it did well because it has a word in it that some people <laughs> don't like but obviously i would not want to repost that clip okay Holy... Wait, guys, I might get first. If I get first, I'll get the sub. Quality over quantity? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> what I do like about the clip-making function on Twitch is that you can always go back- OH MY GOD, FUCK YOU! Sorry. <laughs> I saw they had a red show and I was freaking out. Oh, everybody's sitting out. This is 200cc, it has to be. Imagine all clips got auto-posted. I mean, that's kind of how it is, like, on the Twitch page, right? It'll automatically show the top clips of the day. <gasps> no way! No way! Holy, holy! Please, don't take this away from me. I'm so close! Protection. It's gonna give me a coin. It's gonna give me a coin. I'm gonna get boomed. I'm gonna die. In- Why'd I redeem? No way! No way! Please! Please! Let's end stream here. <laughs> I've peaked. I've peaked. You know what's funny? You know what's fucking funny? Looking at the prediction. Look at the prediction. We'll do more races. And like I said, I'll get a sub in a second. Um, the first non-sub to type in chat. You will get a sub. First non-sub to type in chat. Lurkers too. Whoever wants it. <clears throat> you know what's funny? First place by 130. An extra 30 minute window, even if we did till 115. I would have gotten it. We had no believers. No believers. Chip, you will get that gifted sub. Give me one second. After this race, you'll get it. We had no believers. Look, no believers. So, everybody who gambled, minus 8k. It was all me. <laughs> Figures. Out of all my shatters, I think Titans will become a hate watcher. <laughs> that was so close. Yeah, that was crazy. I haven't gotten first in a while. Oh. That did not feel good to stand up. Hated born out of love. Don't say you love me, that's cringe. Why is it taking so long to queue? Usually it takes forever. <clears throat> okay, the gifted sub is processing, it's processing. Holy moly, thank you, Peace and Art, for the gifted sub to Chip. Ain't no way. Can we get some Weesons in chat? But have fun with the emotes, man. Enjoy the ad previewing. Oh, good.
Thanks for the sub, of course! We, I know you're new here, but we occasionally, or I will occasionally do gifted sub stakes when I can afford it. Which, okay. I can't really afford it this month, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. Today's been a good day for new viewers. Yeah, it's not often we get new chatters. I mean, not that... Fuck. <laughs> not that we are not welcoming, right? Everybody smile. We're very kind. I think it's also because since I wasn't streaming for a week, I got a, I got a good handful of offline follows. Because genuinely, I think it's kind of scary to follow a stream when they're live, you know? Because I know for a lot of small streamers, I personally keep follow alerts turned off. Uh, mainly because I don't want to get hate rated. Smile. Um, but also, um, since I'm in follower 10 minute mode, I think it's weird to thank a follower if they can't, like, um, chat for 10 minutes. So, yeah. I, I know typically for, like, smaller streamers, they will keep followers on and then they will thank followers. But I personally choose not to. Um, because I only really want to give attention to people if they're actively chatting. And it's also, like, some people who follow don't want to chat, and I can respect that. And I don't want to, like, in not inherently, um, indirectly is a better word. Indirectly call them out, you know? So, I know it's kind of weird, kind of off-putting, but... That's also why, like, whenever I do get a follower during a stream, they will usually, like, unfollow. <laughs> usually, like, within five minutes. Uh, cause, like, I, I usually see whenever I do get a follower during a live. You guys won't see it. I mean, there's a counter on the screen. Like, I do have a follower goal. But, um... Cause, like, people like, expect when you're small to be able to chat right away. Um... And I feel like if somebody- Oh my god! If somebody wants to, like, be a part of the chat room, like, genuinely, they have to like what you do. And then also, like the environment of the current chat. Cause, like, you ever see a small stream and then, like, a random first-time chatter says something weird, and it's just like, huh? And it, like, ruins the vibe. And what I've noticed for the most part is that, um, follower 10-minute mode kind of avoids that. Wait, I need to do an ad! You know what? I can't avoid running ads. <laughs> because we are, oopsie, past two hours in this stream. So you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Good save, thank you. Um, get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. I kept seeing that dog hype bot in streams. I haven't seen any. Can't relate in seeing ads exactly. We like the subs and gifters. We like everybody. <clears throat> Peace and ads. Yep. It's kind of funny because I... Uh, I've talked about this before, but I personally choose to run three minutes once every hour because I think having ads interrupt your broadcast too often ruins the viewing experience. And then also... Three minutes is a long enough time to where if somebody does have to watch an ad, they can, like, use the bathroom, get a snack. <clears throat> Versus, like, a one minute isn't nearly long enough. And then it also gives me time to do whatever if I need to. Because, like, I've considered re-enabling the ad schedule. And for people who don't stream, it's basically... It'll automatically run ads every, like... 15 minutes or 30 minutes, however often you want to run them. But I personally choose to not do it, because I feel like if you just get hit smack with an ad with no warning, it's a bummer. Feels bad, man. Oh, fuck. I was looking at chat. I was looking at chat. <laughs> oh my god! I'm colorblind. I'm not. Dude, imagine. That'd be so bad. I like the way you do it a lot. Thank you. That's because I feel so bad sometimes. Oh my god! Okay, screw this race. It's over. It's unredeemable. Because, like, okay, my favorite streamer controversial is Hassan, okay? Everybody knows it. If you don't like that, then uh-oh. 
But so much of my stream structure is very similar to his. Like, you know, the ad break transition. Even how I open my stream. Simp- yeah, dude, I know, okay? <laughs> He's my favorite, okay? This track is chosen by Alice. No, I'm just bad at this track, not at the game. I'm a pro at Mario Kart. Do not look at my ranking. I am really good at this game. It's just, I don't know this track yet. Help you. <clears throat> oh my god, stop! Is, is there any way for me to catch up and get at least top six? Oh wait, I can actually see people now. Holy. Deciding a favorite streamer. Um, Chatters, who's your favorite streamer? And you can't choose me because you can't... No teacher's pet. You can't be me. Don't say me. Don't. That's not gonna get you any kudos. These nuts, wow, you're funny. I don't watch a lot of Valkyrie streams, but I do watch a good handful of her YouTube videos. I've got to think about it. See, like I was talking about earlier, a lot of people who watch smaller streamers don't watch either a lot of other streamers or bigger guys. So you need to expand your content repertoire, but still watch me. Your top three though, let's fucking go. My favorite streamer who streams, I only watch on YouTube. Yeah, I've been watching a lot more of Hassan's YouTube videos. Cause like, I would sit and watch all of his streams, but since he streams for like eight to nine hours every day, it's hard to like consume that much content. So I've just been watching a lot of his YouTube recently. Only streamer I've watched is you. Hey, yo, let's keep it that way. <laughs> gatekeeping? No, 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 no. No, what? Gatekeeping viewers? Are you actually trying to get me canceled on Twitch, Twitter? Huh? I mash up. Is it bad that I don't know who that is? Twitch Twitter gonna get you? That's why I don't go on it. I, I don't go on it. It's just too much petty drama. It's gonna be a long thread. I- okay. I have a lot of takes that streamers I know don't like. I have a lot. You guys know what my takes are on like, quote unquote, grinding for affiliate, or having a tab open, or... Um, what else? Or collabing, or... <laughs> I usually talk about politics and get no likes. I mean, I usually like those tweets, Rainy. <laughs> I want to watch Kiddily. She seems funny. Well, if she ever goes fucking live... Am I right? Can I get some claps in chat? That was good. <laughs> so many clipping and send it to her. <laughs> she like... Wait, what was I gonna say? I forgot. Oh yeah, what other Twitch takes that I have that people don't like? Does she have emotes? Yeah, they're pretty good. Can I just say, Cutie Lee, Rainy D Games, and MB on Twitch, don't follow them. Because they copied my emote style. When I started using screenshot face emotes, I told them it was fun, and then they copied me. Because it was such a good idea. <laughs> the things I see, I'm just like, yes, yeah. Okay. Kaylin. All you gotta do is listen to my takes, okay? I have only good takes. Are you gatekeeping emotes? Gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss. Yeah, Emmy emotes, Emmy's emotes are pretty good. Starting Twitch beef is a good strat? I mean, honestly, honestly, it kind of is, though. I usually keep to myself, like, I don't like drama, I don't do collabs a lot, because I feel like dealing with people is just difficult on its own. 
And I think another reason why people can sometimes get so catty when it comes to like YouTube or streaming, it's because it's their creative outlet. So when you mess with somebody else's creative outlet, it hurts more in my opinion. So I can understand why people get very passionate when it comes to like streaming or YouTube opinions. Because it's their passion that you're grilling, that I'm grilling. I think if you want to be a top 1%, controversy is a must. Yes. But you have to think about controversy that you inherently caused by your character versus what your audience make about you. Because as long as you know you are doing the right thing and doing everything in your ability to be a good influence, be a good person, then I think you are still in the right. <clears throat> and I feel like that's something that a lot of people will grapple with because it just comes to like personal morality. I think I wouldn't have heard of any of these streamers without drama. Even Hassan and his joke. <laughs> no, I I was I remember my the first streamer I ever regularly watched was Ludwig, and that's because I was watching his videos on YouTube first. And then the second streamer I ever watched was Hassan. Because I like news content on YouTube a lot. So then I just kind of found his YouTube videos from that algorithm and then I started watching his streams. But I only really started regularly watching Hassan's streams after the January 6th um, insurrection, which is very bad and should never be repeated. And I feel so cringe because that's when he got like a decent amount of influx for his audience. Like if you look at my follow each in Hassan's chat, it's January 6th. Like I was part of that crew, but I was watching him. I just never followed. Fuck. You didn't start watching streams until Valkyrie switched to YouTube, huh? Who watches YouTube streams? Unless you know the personality. I don't think a lot of people will browse YouTube for streams yet. But that's because the platform isn't known for that type of media. Stop doing secret in chat. I haven't changed it. I'll change it. <laughs> Wait, do I have a secret? What if the secret is I have a GF? <laughs> How crazy. <laughs> How crazy would that be? Decent 17 YouTube stream? Nah. Okay, if I co-streamed the YouTube, then I wouldn't be able to give you guys as much attention. And I know you guys love attention. Yeah, I agree. Watching, like, a YouTube stream in the background, like, you know how YouTube, if you have YouTube Premium, um, you can do the background play? I do like that function. But just the UI isn't fully there yet. See, I think, Kaylin, you're like the, the primary audience for smaller streamers. Like just fully finding somebody based off like the algorithms or just randomly browsing. That's like the ideal viewer. But the problem with stream content is you have to like the personality that's on screen. And it usually takes a while to like a personality if you don't know them. And I feel like that's why it's important for anybody who wants to stream or do YouTube. You have to make content consistently, regularly, and then also relevant to what your actual stream is like. That's why a lot of my, like, TikTok or YouTube clips are just me talking and playing a game normally. Oh my god, I'm trying to go for this gift! Oh no. Oh no! Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, why do I just have a follower goal on screen, huh? What? Sorry, I just noticed my sub goal was gone. Oh, I have to start a new goal. Okay, the goal on screen is broken. Golden Mario is too cool. I love it, yeah. Honestly, getting Golden Mario is a flex. Because I think in order to unlock that character, you do have to get gold trophies in every single pre. In the base games, not the, um, what you call it. Not the DLC. Your TikToks give a good idea of how you are. Exactly. And that's successful production. 
Because when you are making any type of content or media, you have to think about what you like doing and then also what your audience will perceive of what you are doing. Um, that's why whoever is editing for you or making content for you has to understand and have the same values when it comes to creation. Because if you're just hiring somebody freelance who doesn't understand your jokes or doesn't understand the vibe, you're going to get a lot of content that doesn't seem like you. Like, even if I could afford to pay an editor for the clips, I think I would still edit my own clips, but I think I would consider paying somebody to edit, like, highlight long form videos. But I would still want to hire somebody who is in the Mind My Language community. I don't think I'd ever hire, like, a freelance person. Should I say fuck you and just throw it? Should I do it? Oh wait, they have the same bike as me! We're twins! Okay, if I get first again, I am not gifting another sub. That is not in the budget. Maggie Sports cannot afford that this month. Because I will be honest with you guys. One of my goals for this year was to be eligible for a Twitch payout every month. I did not hit that goal in January. And you know how close I was? I was literally no joke. Because I opted for a direct deposit. I understand that um, Twitch announced a few months ago for other payment methods, you it's a $50 minimum. You Okay, you can look up... I can't see what my income is. Um, <laughs> You can look up what the threshold is for direct deposit payouts. You can look it up yourself. But I was literally $1 away. Sad. But you know, it's fine. I was expecting to not qualify for January. Because I literally streamed only 40 hours when I normally stream 60. So, it makes sense. Don't feel bad, chatters. Don't sag. Just be like, do better this month, Megan. And I'll be like, okay. Yeah, but I told my sister and she said she'll loan me money. For this month. Drake's in chat for my sister, guys. Do better this month? I will, I will. See, look, I did do better. I got first. Look. Isn't that great? <laughs> Can we get some corpus in chat? Do better. Corpus, do better. <laughs> okay. Since I got another first, I peaked. I think we can call it a day here. We've been live for 2.30. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't leave. Everybody screenshot, screenshot. Look at that. A crown. Look at that. I'll leave. I've peaked. Oh my god, is that Peason's biggest fan? Ain't no way. Can we get some Peace I too? Yo's? Dude, my hair is so full. It looks so pretty. Wait. Hold. I need to check my ISO. Because it, it feels like it's dark. ISO for any camera nerds. It was at literally 16,000. I normally keep it at 5,000, but I had to bump it up because when we did calligraphy last. Never did the cue cards. <laughs> See, that, that's going to be the running gig. I literally... I didn't do the MRI story! Fuck. I was wondering why my stream looked like that, yeah. Because, like, um... I basically had it like three times the normal ISO. And ISO is the quality or the amount of light the lens takes in. So that's probably why it wasn't as like crisp. Fuck. Now it looks so much clearer. End me, dude. Okay. Chaz, Chaz. I think we are done gaming. I don't feel like doing Animal Crossing today. Like I said, short stream, maybe. No, I can't make any promises. Like I said... I'm gonna try my best to stream this and next week because we have 
a good handful of Wii games to play and Valentine's holiday streams coming up. So don't miss a single second. If you are new here, follow the channel. Click that follow button. Wowee. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to mess around with the settings later. Twitch keeps censoring Lomao. Oh yeah, like if where it has the asterisks for curse words, I think you can change that setting on mobile. I don't know if you are like new new to Twitch, Kaylin, but you I would recommend if you're watching on desktop, download these extensions. Um, the, you also get more emotes and more customizable settings that will change the Twitch UI slightly to make it more user friendly. I have found that the Franker Face Z setting menu is very intuitive, and I like it a lot. Why saying Frank? <laughs> Did I say something? Thumbs up. <laughs> okay, should, should I make a pose for the big brain emote really quick? Let's do just chatting, mods. We're gonna do calligraphy in a second, so you guys know the drill. If you donate to the channel, or write your name, or you can use your channel points, click the icon in the bottom left of your chat room. Okay, how would I do this? It would just be like normal, right? Should I do like... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so that in the edit... <laughs> okay, wait. Should I be like... <laughs> just like... Okay, okay. I'm focusing. We're, we're posing for a new emote. What should we call it? Okay, as, as I'm posing, what should we call it? What should the code be? Should it be big brain? Or P- Cause like, my email code is peace I2. Is it peace I2 big brain? Would that be good? Or peace I2 bring it? Peace I2 smart? Okay, you guys think about it. <laughs> Wait, I need to do it closer because there's like a shadow. Okay. Wait, I'm looking at the preview. I think that one was good. I think that one was very good. <laughs> Wait, let's get some music on. Guys, I think I've peaked. I've gotten two first place in a Mario Kart stream. Okay, I'm feeling good. So let's do some more upbeat music. Oh, sorry. That was really fucking loud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cancel me. <clears throat> What do you guys think? Should we do PSA2 smart or PSA2 big brain? I feel like big brain is more contextual though. I feel like that makes more sense. Big brain? See, like, it would look like this. PSA2. We also need to think about, like, how to capitalize it too. Because PSA2 big brain or PSA2 big brain. No, because, like, you can't do lowercase for an emo code because the first character has to be capitalized, I think. Or, I feel like this piece, I too. I feel like this one makes the most sense, right? Like, the B in brain and big is capitalized. I feel like that makes the most sense, right? Having all caps on the big, I feel like that would be hard to type. Because, like, when I'm typing that, I, I instinctively want to, like, capitalize the B in brain, too. Hmm. I'll decide tonight if I remember to do it. Okay. Chatters. <laughs> Dude, that's my brain. <laughs> I can't... Okay, you guys know the drill. If you donate to the channel, you will get your name written, or if you use your channel points. We had a new sub and some resubs today. So you guys know the drill. <coughs> what is my sub count? Dude, I fell off 34 subs, cringe. <laughs> I got ratioed. So I need blue, purple, and then 
Kaylin's color is purpura. Purple. Or it's like, it's blue. It's like a matte color. I gotta save my points to get VIP surely one day. Thank you for redeeming, Max. <laughs> oh wait, I needed purple, not blue. Thank you for redeeming, Crystal. You guys have fun today? I know I had fun. I was worried, but I feel so much better now. Because, like, I felt bad that I didn't stream, and, like, my roommates were asking me. They were like, are you going to stream today? And I was like, no. But I don't know how I'm going to feel the rest of this week. But I will try my best. <clears throat> Showed up late this stream? Yeah, it's cringe. Gotta have notifications turned on, right? Well, also, gentle reminder. Make sure everybody's following my Twitter. You get updates about stream and funny tweets sometimes. I also tweet when I go live, so if Twitch notifications don't work, then you can get them on Twitter. Peace and biggest fan in it. <laughs> I was at school, Gage. I mean, sad. You did that on purpose, you liar. <laughs> Here we had Kobobo with a seven month resub. You are so close to that badge, man. It is in your grasp. Oh, talking about um badges. <laughs> I don't know what. Um, if you gifted five subs during the month of January, so I am talking to Titans Mac and Nyx, if you watch the bots. I need your pictures. That way we can do sketch cards. God, we're doing Valentine's Grams at school for one dollar, and I sent one to my low-key crush and said I did it to embarrass them, but low-key, it was intentional. <laughs> Thank you, Kimari. I'm trying to think, because we did a similar thing in school too, but our grams were two dollars. I usually sent them to my friends. I never sent them to my crush. I don't think. No, I didn't. Because when I was in school, I only had crushes on my friends, so you know, I double dipped.
I should have said one to myself, Coax, why are you being so emo today? We're having fun. Don't ruin the vibes. It's Friday night. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you know that guy who was like, it's Friday night. <laughs> like, I wonder what they're doing now. Like, they probably get so much shit. See, that's why chatters. Do please. I am begging the Clippers. Clippers. Please, please, please. Don't clip me out of context. Okay? Because I understand we joke, we goof, and we gaff. But if you don't watch the stream, you don't know the joke. So please, Clippers, be kind. Dude, the camera looks so much clearer now. I'm so mad. I don't count for this, of course. Crystal, what? I legitimately think Crystal's gonna become a problem. You were stream sniping me at the tournament. That is bad behavior. Put that out of context. It is funny, but I get scared, okay? I get scared. Once again, thank you, Titans, for that nine month resub. Space this wrong. Sorry, I'm I'm stumped. Oh, there it is. I found the problem. Megan said it herself? Okay, you're right. I, I didn't get baited into saying it, so... That is right. Still don't like it, though. Okay. Then we had... Kaylin. Battery died when I was watching it post for the emotes. Oh no. <laughs> well, we see you, Kaylin. Sorry, I'm looking at my auto mod queue. Because, <laughs> for context, if you say bad words, it usually gets caught by the mod or the bot. But <laughs> somebody's message was shut up, you're funny in all caps, and it got deleted. <laughs> That's so funny. Did I say I wasn't funny? Cause like, okay, I try my best not to be self-deprecating, like I genuinely try. And I have noticed a boost in confidence because of it. But did I say that I'm not funny earlier? I would never say that. <laughs> Cause I'm hilarious. Once again, thank you, Kaylin, for the tier one. Love seeing new chatters. Also, this page will be posted on Twitter later. 
Okay, time for channel point names. I don't think I'll be able to do calligraphy tonight on the art channel because I have a lot of laundry to do. Because I didn't think I'd stream for this long. Because I have like four loads to do. Uh oh. I'll do green for crystals since you didn't tell me. Let's do the seafoam green because that's similar to the email you chose. Let's do this kind of corally orange. Okay, so chatters, chatters, this is our last name of the day. So if you want me to write your name, all you gotta do is donate to the channel or use your channel points. Last call, last name. That's all of them. So, five, four, three, two, one. We're done. We're done. Meg Stall. What would that emote look like? A great welcome back to stream. Thank you, Cox. With a pair of wings? Yeah, I was gonna say wings, huh? It's like, I'm not an angel. Yet. <laughs> Let's not make a joke about dying. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Guys, I would like to thank everybody for watching. Any chatters, lurkers, I appreciate you all. I know I was super anxious for today, genuinely. I appreciate everybody who watched today reassuring me, you know. I don't know what the future will hold, but I know I'm gonna keep trying my best. What is that emo, Rainy? What the fuck? <laughs> Great stream, thank you. Koboba, you're losing your badge because you didn't make enough clips. You know you gotta do this month, man. Okay. Looking at all the clips you guys made for last month, a lot of it was just me failing. 
That was sad. Fun stream, glad to be a part of it. Oh my god, an actual wholesome chatter. Feel strong, man. But I'm glad you had a good time, Kelly, and I hope you see to see you again in the future. Um, also, is there anything that I want to say? Not really. <laughs> I just see it. Look at all of you little guys. You guys are so active. I I like my chat room a lot. And I like my viewers and my lurkers, but it's not often you have this good of a chat room when you're very small like me. So great first stream. Thank you, Chip. I'm glad you had a good time. We hope to see you again, man. Um, as you guys know, we like ourselves too. Egomaniac, of course. Um, like you guys know, I'm only going to stream when I'm feeling it. I feel a lot better now. So hopefully, I'll be able to stream more this week. Like I said, we have a whole lineup for this week. We have Wii games and Valentine's Day stream themed streams. Um, like I said earlier, I feel like this community is a family, huh? Huh? <laughs> not that word, not that word. <laughs> That's cute, but uh oh. That sounds like cold shit. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, make sure everybody, you are following my Twitter. You get updates about stream, and I'm gonna work on that Valentine's Day quiz. And I'll post that on Twitter once it's done, so please make sure you're following me on Twitter. It's hashtag who to follow. Um, Hopefully, I'll be live again tomorrow. I have so many streams. If Valentine's Day wasn't on the 14th, I'd feel less stressed. But I only have a, a week to get seven streams done. Uh-oh. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. I feel better now, though. They're beating you up. Peace I to punch them back in chat, not in real life. Okay. I uh, will be live when I see you guys. Please make sure you have notifications turned on if you are following the channel. If you aren't following, it's been three hours. Follow the fucking channel, okay? Um, I had a lot of fun today. I feel bad that I, I left for a week. But I'm back. I'm feeling good. Once again, thank you, everybody. If you're watching, lurking, chatting, thank you. Even if you just said hi. Thank you all. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye. I'm Markiplier. <laughs> oh, I gotta turn my cam off. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> but seriously, thank you all. I was super scared. Because, like, usually when you don't go live for X amount of time... The Twitch algorithm hates you and then just doesn't give notifications out. But thank you all. Genuinely, you guys make my day. I know I'm very small. I know I'm a Humega lol, but I love hanging out with y'all. Also, can I just say once again, thank you to Kaylin. First time chat, first time sub, insane. <laughs> that never happens. I mean, I think that's only happened like four times. And I've been streaming for a year and a half, so that's like never. Okay, seriously, I'll go now. Bye, Kobobo. Bye, everybody. Uncalled, of course. I, whenever, okay. <laughs> whenever I see OF in chat, I get scared. <laughs> I'm like, uh oh. Oh, bye, Kaylin. Yeah, like I said earlier, just make sure everybody you're following my Twitter. 
<laughs> we'll get to the cue cards eventually. I mean, I usually save the cue cards for the Mario Kart streams, because that's where I feel like it's kind of fun to talk and play the game at the same time, you know? But for other games, I feel like I need to actually focus. Because if, if you lose a Mario Kart, it's, it, it's gonna happen anyway, because that's just how the mechanic is. And it's kind of funny. And it's funny when you're trying to tell a story and then you get boomed. Yeah, everybody, turn on notifications. Okay, bye, for real now, bye.